protesters. Uh, today saw several peaceful protests across the country, including one here in Mobile. Our local 15's Andrea Ramey is live in our newsroom. Andrea, protesters marched through Mobile today. That's right, Kim. Protesters marched two miles from Lions Park to the federal courthouse downtown all along the way, voicing their outrage about what happened in Ferguson. I ain't gonna let nobody turn us around. No one turned this group around as they marched down Spring Hill Avenue this afternoon. No justice! No peace! I'm protesting because this is an asinine display that the Ferguson Police Department has shown by letting Officer Wilson just walk free. Well, I think it's very important to show solidarity with the people in Ferguson that have suffered with this tragedy and people all over the country that have suffered from this tragedy of a young black man, an unarmed black man being killed by the police. He can barely be, easily be me. Albert Terry helped organize the event. He says he's afraid of police officers, afraid he'll wind up like Michael Brown. When I see what happened with Michael Brown, uh, who was shot basically on the premise of being a big, scary black man. I'm a pretty big black man myself. I think I have every reason to be afraid for my life. Mobile City Councilman C.J. Small was the only city leader who participated in the march. At the steps of the federal courthouse, he said all officers should be equipped with body cameras. Cameras that would shed light on an officer's actions when they're called into question. Right now we only have one side of the story, and that's the police officer side, but we do not have the victim side of the story. If we had the victim side of the store, we will not be rallying today. Mobile Police Chief James Barber supports having body cameras, but says it would cost about half a million dollars this city has not budgeted for. I mean, I think it would cut down on a lot of frivolous complaints against police and, um, and definitely be a good source of evidence for us. Today's march was peaceful, no incidents, no arrests. Mobile police officers actually rode ahead of marchers and cleared traffic, so this protest could happen today. Live in the newsroom, Andrea Ramey, Local 15 News. Andrea, thanks. Mount Hebron 